have a uh, Axis kind of icy hot taken over a little bit. Uh, it appears uh, with five minutes left, there's definitely been some cap outs. Uh, Bees is up here in loft throwing our thing. We have Vertex with 23, Compton over here running an MP40 with 27 kills. Carpenter uh, leading the way with 25. As I said, he's the one that kind of carries this team on his back. Uh, Sick over here is running up to his uh, rope alley. He gets a very nice shot on Swave as Swave is on the bridge. Sick is looking into that area. Takes a shot, misses though. Takes a second shot, does not miss. Okay, and he is able to now take over this hallway area as he moves into that shed area saying, my friends behind me will capture that flag later. Sick pushes up, gets a shot onto Tom Foolery. Is he's gonna keep running up to that spawn area? Sees that they have spawn. Is trying to crouch. Say, you don't see me. You don't see me. Wait, they do see me. As Vic takes him out. Uh, Candyman running over here. He's their third rifle. He is going to be going bridge most of the time, but he has now run back just uh, because uh, to make sure no one captures that flag. Vertex, on the other hand, is Vertex running sniper? No, he had picked up the sniper for a nice double kill onto that uh, bridge area. Candyman throws a beautiful air burst grenade right at Vertex's face, clears him off. Kanka or is capturing this bridge, though, with uh, Hildebrand. Hildebrand is 32 and 9, so we see where most of the kills are coming from. It's coming from the snipers in this game. So this has been a sniper-heavy game, it feels like. And so uh, Hildebrand has that nice angle, kills Swave as he comes around from spawn, and then he is backing up to look at the loft area. Sick, on the other hand, is going to be nading, trying to push up. They are choosing to have this kind of slower map control where they just move up as a team. Bees gets a nice kill, Hildebrand gets a nice kill, and puts the allies on their back foot. Swave is over here, takes out Compton, but Sick is just running on docks. Sick doesn't seem likely to push. He is just saying, I am a line, you're not passing me. He is holding that map control. This is something that we saw different than in the other game. Now Sick has pushed up. He's looking around. He knows someone's there trying to shoot him in the back. Uh, and, and Swave is able to uh, kill out that one guy. There's one guy over there in the garage, though. Tom Foolery knows he's there. Trying to spam him. Picks up the rifle so it's a little easier. And then uh, his teammates have responded. So he moves on right into the meat grinder that is B's STG. Looks like Vertex it was trying to be sneaky. Insom found him, though. Uh, as Compton jumps into that jump window, picks up a car. He's only got 26 health, so he's going to try to ninja this out. Uh, nope, never mind. He takes a shot, misses, takes another shot, misses, runs around, and uh, Tom Foolery takes him, is able to kill him. Bees, on the other hand, uh, not able to back him up. Kanga... Uh, pushes up bridge and finds Vic's bar waiting for him. So right now, it looks like the clinic is in a bit of a goalie mode where they have uh, one or two people staying at their first kind of the whole time, which is uh, partly because in uh, uh, Sick and the other of Icy Hot have kept a line where they haven't uh, pushed willy-nilly, right? They, they haven't kind of zerg rushed in there. And so they're keeping that thing where... Clinic finally gets that, that, that kill, and they keep it there, and all of a sudden we see Vertex get a kill and rush in there, and I believe that is probably their third cap out of this thing, if I'm guessing correctly, third or fourth. So let's follow Jesse or Vertex here as he primes a nade and runs over to this bridge area. He takes a nade, you know, he's going to go for his second. So far, no kills. We see grenades fly all over the place, and Jesse Vertex gets hit by a kill. Bees with a really nice one-tap, but it doesn't kill him, so just kind of pokes the guy over in back cave. And he's going to run back up to that thing and look again for a little STG snipe as he goes for there. STG not known like the bar is. The bar is known for its snipe abilities. The STG is a lot more random and not does not do as much damage. Kanga running the Stoss. He and Hildebrand are going to run up here, capture that, that uh, bridge area, as they have one person sitting, uh, I think it's Vertex, sitting on the docks area. Where's Vertex? Nope, he's on bridge. So Vertex was getting some kills. He's just dated bees. It was bees over there on the docks, and Vertex said, hey, catch. So Vertex is going to take bees' position after he killed him. 
and then he is going to get killed by Mirasan as the clinic gets four kills and looks to establish a little bit more uh, clawing back of the map here. Uh, they got to be careful, though, because, again, this map is so small that we see the grenade fly in, and they run out of time. So 188 to 79, 188 to 79, 188 to 79, 188 to 79. We've got 188... To 79, so this is clinic, and over here is icy hot. And there we go 188 to 79 for that first half. Okay, so with that being said, it looks like if this is indeed an ally sided map and in and Icy Hot was able to win that Axis side. This is going to be a quite the uphill battle for Clinic if they're now on the harder side and they're down by 110 points, 109 points. So uh, that's what we're looking at here. We ha now have our two-minute buffer time where we are sitting and waiting for that to go off. It's so funny to me because the HLTV doesn't actually like join the server, even though it does. So it joins and gives me one model and then doesn't fully join. And the players, as you saw last match, they, they know when the HLTV finally does join. And so it's kind of funny to me of, of like, we're joined, but we're not really joined because we're in that buffer, that two minute non cheater buffer type mode. So the real question is, is what is Kanga doing with his name? He's gone from Kanga to Unka. So, you know, nothing but the best from Kanga there in his name. Unka nowadays. And my config loves to jack up that volume. So I'm not too sure if we're live. It looks like they're live, but again... We were behind. It looks like they readied up immediately. Which would make sense, because I think one of these have a, another match in a different game right after this. So Vertex is going to push up. He's going to get a nice shot on Candyman over there. Compton is going to kill Tom Foolery. And Vertex is going to play this McDonald's area, which is very hard, because you got to guess where the sniper is. And if you guess wrong, uh, the sniper is looking at you down a scope. So Hildebrand is able to kill Insom as they come around that Susie area. Vertex opting to spam with the Grand and then try to pick up the car, but he waited a little too long because the car despawned. Compton is over here in Rope, pushing down into that pizza area where Tomfoolery was waiting for him. We see Tomfoolery running the MP40 instead of the SDG, which uh, is a common thing for him to do some. Mirasan is going to nade that Rope area through the window. No one is up there, so he did not get a kill. Sick is down here instead, waiting for them to come. He's got a buddy. I think there are three of them down here uh, as they go. And so, yeah, if we look around, where'd our axes go? They are not here. So we see someone look around uh, on, on rope. And Compton is going to play the backside as I think that's Sick runs away. <laughs> So Compton throws a grenade. They're trying to bait them in, and he gets that double kill. Very nice by that heat. Uh, we get sick shot from the back. Compton is able to clean that up and move into this plaza area. Is he going to go for a full sprint? He is, and he gets it. Okay, so that's that timing of that respawn. They were able to get him on a long respawn timer, and he was able to push all the way up with a sprint and gets a nice little cap out there for Icy Hot. We see B's off initial pre-firing on that flag. Uh, he is going to capture that flag as Compton runs up and gets a kill. 
Uh, Bees is then going to play an angle because Com Compton is dead. So Beeves is waiting for Swave to come by. Sees one more in the hallway and does not kill him. Gets one kill. Is waiting for the other one. Uh, and just going to hold that angle. And Tomfoolery was unable to fool Bees uh, of which way he was coming around. Bees grabs that car, runs up, and Carpenter is in rope for some reason. And Carpenter gets a nice no-scope. Uh, but Hildebrand, sitting on bridge, waiting, capping that bridge, gets the call that the sniper is in rope and looks right at him. He then takes out Candyman from uh, Loft while Swave has respawned and is up in rope. And you can see uh, he, the other one on bridge, it is Vertex, was waiting for him. Tomfoolery running in. Tomfoolery so far 3 and 6 with his Unter. Uh, let's see if he picks up the bar. Nope, he's choosing to go with the MP40 instead. And he gets a kill for it. And then he kind of threw down his MP40. They've done this a lot. Instead of picking up a gun that might be uh, potentially empty, instead opt for your slightly worse gun that you know has bullets. Uh, Insom takes uh, out Kanga as he runs on. He is going to try. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps looking behind him. He might have heard uh, Hildebrand or uh, Carpenter back there. So uh, Swave loves, the, like I said, they, they would rather be playing CS, and they'll let anyone know about it. As Swave does a little MM1 talk to try to uh, make himself feel a little bit better. Vertex is going to be spamming this window here. There's one person on bridge. Vertex is able to kill Candyman as Swave is able to get a double kill from that loft area and he's looking backwards he missed but insom was there to uh back him up as kanga is unfortunately on un or for him not able to get that cap out tomfoolery here with a prime nade he's gonna go for a nice air burst uh did not get anyone though as he is trying to retake this plaza area he's gonna check every corner yep so this is what I was talking about. There are a lot of corners on this map that you got to check. And he checked wrong, and Compton is able to get a nice double kill uh, from an area that Tom Furley thought he checked, but Compton was up around and then popped down and kills both of them. So Compton is going to push up a little bit. He knows that they've respawned. The sniper misses his shot. So Compton runs back. And now he's going to sound whore. He's going to try to use his sound cues to figure out where they're coming from. He knows one's up there. He gets a couple hits on him. He's going to jump up here, try to change his angle a little bit. Does not see anyone up there anymore. And uh, Kanga comes around the other way, gets a double kill, and caps out. And I think at this point the route is on. So if they won by about, uh, you know, 100 or 90 yeah, 109 points last half, and now they're already up 115 points. I think it's safe to say that all that is left is for Icy Hot to run out the clock and make sure that they just don't get capped on four or five times. Uh, looks like Clinic has mixed up their routes a little bit. They're trying something different about this. Uh, Swave is now going into apartments or hallway or whatever it's called. Meanwhile, Candyman is sitting on bridge. He does not necessarily want to show, but he also does kill Kanga. So now he definitely has shown that he is on bridge, and he's still showing that he's on bridge, and so they know exactly where to look for him uh, as they clean him off. Insom takes out Compton as Compton pushed up. And so now they're looking to reestablish a little bit of control in that rope area. Insom can hear Hildebrand, finally finds him, takes him out, as he continues to look on that rope area, he's going to throw a grenade. And he's going to hold this this corner. And he misses that nade. Or he purposely threw an unprimed grenade to try to kill anyone in water. Vertex hears someone in that loft, but he cannot see him yet. So he's just going to hold this angle to see if uh, a head will poke out. Again, he sees Candyman take out Kanga. Uh, feels bad for Kanga as Vertex knew he was in there and is waiting for the angle. And, and unfortunately does not get the angle before he died. He does get a really nice shot on Tomfoolery as Tomfoolery comes around the corner. And Vertex is still waiting on someone to poke out of that loft. He's going to reload his grand. He knows someone is coming behind him. He's in a tough spot at this point. He gets one shot off. I don't know if he hit him. And yeah, there's Swavy to clean him up. Uh, that was real tough for Vertex. He has enemies at all angles. 
uh, <laughs> Marisand saw a bar poke out. So this is going to be a nice little uh, attack between these two. And Marisand is able to finally get Compton as they both knew each other were there. And it was just who's going to peek who. Uh, here we go. We have, looks like Sick is running into that long cap. Uh, he takes out two, the two of the hallway team. Hildebrand, on the other hand, Hildebrand running a 10 and 12. He's been pretty steady, getting at least uh, almost one kill per death here. Candyman takes uh, one out. Candyman has multiple times dropped his Stoss for a sniper rifle. So I feel like Candyman really values the sniper rifle over the Stoss on this bridge area. Hildebrand misses his shot, jumps over, and luckily for him, Carpenter also missed the shot. They're able to capture that bridge before Carpenter and, and uh, Insom are able to kill both of them. Suave up in rope, takes out Bees. Bees was going for a nice little bar snipe, but he was super, super exposed while doing it, and Suave just points and clicks. We get a grenade over to Docs as Suave is continuing to hold it. Compton, on the other hand, has pushed up. Suave turns around, does not see or, or does not hit Compton as Compton runs around. Where there's Compton as he fights uh, for this angle with Suave. Compton trying to hold that angle with a beautiful nade from Vic takes him out. Kanga, on the other hand, is now running into that uh, hallway. He's going to hold this area, uh, get, sees Vic coming around. This is the power of comms. Compton Angle was able to tell Kanga that one was coming into that area. And Kanga goes. Meanwhile, our clinic gets a capture on their first flag, uh, but did not have that long cap. And because uh, Sick was over there. And so they were not able to get a cap out on there. And we got about nine and a half minutes left. We're halfway through this half. And it's kind of just running the clock out for Icy Hot. They're not being too crazy. They're not pushing too, cra or too hard. Instead, they're just trying to hold what they got and make sure they don't get capped out on. And if they get a cap along the way, then that's just gravy. Vertex grabs a car. He's got 43 health. He's going to bunny hop back to be able to look at that rope area. Compton is going off. Compton is now at 19 and 8. So he's getting about two kills to every death. And he is uh, kind of carrying the side of the map for Icy Hot. Compton with a nice pre-fire on Candyman. Uh, he is not going to push too hard, though. He's going to go slow. He knows that they're holding this corner for him. So he tries a little bit of peak wars with him. Neither of them hit each other. Compton now has a buddy who's throwing a grenade into that window area as Compton reloads. Bees does get a kill with that grenade. And Compton comes around with that pre-fire. And he's still trying to bar snipe someone. Takes out Insom. And Carpenter loses, er, is able to get a two kill onto Bees. And I think Vertex is going to run in. And Vertex is not able to get there before that uh, spawn wave comes through. Hildebrand, on the other hand, where are you, Hildebrand? Oh, he's pushed up into Susie. <laughs> Unfortunately, Suave did not check that area for some reason. Uh, why would he expect a sniper there? And he gets uh, 1911 in the back. Hildebrand hears someone up in that loft area. Vertex uh, is also on bridge. Candyman takes out Hildebrand and then takes out Vertex. And Insom takes out Six. So now we've got uh, two dead on our insom doesn't stick the landing we had two dead on each side and so we'll see if any ca flag caps can be made by clinic but i don't think it can be they didn't get quite enough kills compton's down on the end of the hallway shooting that side of the thing does a nice little bunny hop over to uh try to avoid he's doing that little peek where he's trying to bait out the shot <laughs> and then he gets one shot on vic and it's enough to kill him and then he holds that angle, kills Tom Foolery as he comes around, and he uh, secures that hallway for the allies. Hildebrand, on the other hand, kills off one of the people on bridge, preventing a cap out. Insom ends, ends up taking him up, but Sick from the docks is able to kill him. Sick is moving up with a car, and Candyman pops up with a Stoss and takes his head off. Okay, we've got bees down, we've got Vertex down, we've got Candyman continuing to Stoss from the uh, loft. He sees, uh, what's his face, Hildebrand over there. 
and he's decided he's going to fall back and try to kill Compton as he comes around here. Because Compton, again, going on a tear through that hallway. Vertex with a nice shot onto Carpenter. And then Hildebrand gets the sniper, or I'm sorry, Candyman, as he comes in the roof. We have Candyman with a Stoss going aloft way more often than the sniper is. So I think that is a conscious decision that they are trying to do. And so Vertex pushes around, and Swivey has come back to help and gets Vertex as he was looking for a cap out. Kanga is sitting here with a bar inside the swing door. This door is completely wallable. So uh, if, he, if he sees someone coming around, he will get one, but he could instantly get shot through the door. And uh, the guy's up in window, so it's tomfoolery. He does not have the angle or the gun to wall him. But Swavy does have a car as he pokes around and gets him. We have Carpenter getting a kill. Swavy gets another kill on sick, and the Axis are going to look to take over this bridge area. We have Candyman and Carpenter uh, capping the flag. Hildebrand is going to wait for someone to come around. Misses the shot. We have one person in that garage. Unfortunately, we have two friendly fire grenade kills kind of take the steam out of clinic as all of them are dead. Uh, and that was uh, two of them friendly fire. So that that is going to take off all pressure whatsoever as the team has to start from scratch again. Tom Fuller is going to throw a grenade into rope. Uh, no one is quite down there, so he doesn't kill anyone. Insom is going to poke around. Does not see someone, but he knows that the Z empties out this way, so they're going to play a little ring around the Rosie here. And Insom wins the fight against Kanga. Vertex, on the other hand, is waiting in McDonald's. He's going to poke around. Sees one person in Susie. Does not kill him. And so that he does get him on the second peak, though. Here's one person in loft, so he's going to look up there. But now his spidey senses are tingling for Z. Someone was there. He missed. So now he pulls out his pistol to see if he can get him for that as he reloads his car. He missed a shot again. This is a uh, carpenter that he's fighting. And so Tom Foolery gets a kill. Vertex here at the big box is playing 100% ring around the rosy. He is, again, in a bad spot with multiple enemies all around him, and he's unable to get a kill for that. Bees does take out Tomfoolery in that rope area. And so now we have Icy Hot again in control of this rope with Kanga and Bees both over there. Carpenter looked to have a kill, but all of a sudden a grenade came in from Vertex, which took him out. Sick, on the other hand, trying his little crouch peek on the loft to try to kill someone, decides he's going to go rope instead. And Candyman is over here, again, stossing that loft. This is clearly where Candyman likes to be with his stoss. He sees two people. Hildebrand says, stop that little bouncing around and go back to spawn. Insom, on the other hand, uh, gets the same treatment from Hildebrand. And Bees over here in the hallway, again, looking to establish that map control, that domination of this pizza plaza area, the whatever you want to call it, courtyard. Vic, on the other hand, is able to kill him, but Sick is right there with a car. This is the problem with Clinic. Clinic feels like they are getting some kills. They feel like they're doing something, but the the uh, Icy Hot team just always has one more person, it seems. And that one more person is able to just put a stop to all the momentum that Clinic has. And even when Clinic had a lot of momentum, they stopped it themselves. So now Tomfoolery is going to look to... We got three kills. Okay, three dead. Tomfoolery is playing... Uh, a little bit with his bar here. He's going to run over to the dock side. They have uh, five kills at this point. So we have five people coming out of spawn right now. Tom Foolery is going to be jumping into that jump window to try to get a different angle going to the first flag. And we have a lot of people on the allies over here. So what Tom Foolery is going to do is he's going to try to wait. Uh, and unfortunately, Bees came out, so now they know he's here. Tom Furler gets two kills, but I think his opportunity for a ninja is now passed. Tom Furler picks up one, and we can see them in the spawn again as he tries to get that kill. And let's see over here. We still have our allies spawning as they come through before Tom Furler can get those kills. 
And so we had an opportunity for a cap out from Clinic, but the the close the proximity of the spawn to the allies is kind of preventing them. In some, on the other hand, is 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 a little Neo there, dodges, gets down to seven health, and is able to get a cap out. And so here we see a little bit of a comeback push from Clinic, but it is literally too little too late. They are still losing this half, and the half is over in a minute. So uh, the amount that they lost last half leading to now, it's going to be somewhat of an insurmountable burden for them to climb. And then we see Icy Hot say, okay, we're going to end this in style. And they instantly get five kills to one. And there's the six. Uh, so they are full map control at this point as they are pushing up. We got a minute left. We'll see if Icy Hot can get this last cap out. Vertex is going to try it. He's going to get a get a kill. Nope, no kill. But we've started. Swafi gets a double kill on his own team, unfortunate. And here we have Kanga looking to crouch walk his way around. He gets one, gets two. They've spawned, gets three. Let's see. The sniper missed him. Kanga missed the sniper. There's two people right there. Kanga's really, really got to peek this now. They're they're playing they're playing around and Suave is able to kill him. So I think that was the last chance that Icy Hot had on a cap out, uh, and it Clinic was able to play it safe enough. Nope, nope, nope. We have uh, bees get a nice kill, but one more person was there, and so we see one seventy two to seventy three. So they win by ninety nine points plus their one hundred and nine points from the first half, and we have a very nice game for Icy Hot putting away. Uh, the clinic and Icy Hot moves to four and one in KTP Gold, and I think that puts them at the top of the Gold Division uh, at four and one. NSA, did they win this week? NSA, NSA also won this week, so NSA and uh, Icy Hot are tied for the top, I believe, or NSA is slightly over above them. Uh, so there we go. We had a nice little double header today as we watched our new map, DoD Armory. Uh, thank you to Toxinator for uh, making new maps for a 20-year-old game. That seems kind of kind of uh, a labor of love is what I think you can call that. Uh, and so we are, and here's Tom Foolery coming in saying, CS2, here you go, that's what he wants. Uh, so uh, rather be playing Counter-Strike, that is going to be their new team name going on. Uh, so we got Shut Up, We're Trying in Silver Division, and now I am rechristening our uh, clinic into Rather Be counter striking. So uh, that is what we're looking at. We have our Week 6 games on what map is next. Our next map is a classic, DoD Anzio, one of the oldest D Day of Defeat maps that is still played regularly. Uh, we have an absolute classic. This is one of the maps that is played in competitive and is not... Uh, necessarily a custom map. It was adopted by the official game. Uh, even if it started out as a custom map, it became an official map. And so uh, we have that next week. Uh, we will be probably back to one match next week uh, because I uh, probably don't have the time to do two as well. We will find out, but I will see you then for more KTP DoD action. Thank you guys for tuning in, and keep fragging.